Hey everybody, it's early Sunday evening. I just got done eating. I put a pork butt on the Weber today and uh, had some uh, cabbage and po baked potatoes and had a good meal. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one. I saw this in the store yesterday, brand new. The Shiner Family Reunion. So I'm gonna do there's six different beers in here. The Bach, uh, the Black, Black Lager, I think I've had before. Blonde, a Hefeweizen, Cosmos Reserve, and this one I'm going to do today, the the Brewer's Pride. It says it on the cap. They've all got six, got di all six have different caps. I'm going to do their Rise and Shine, their Rye Lager. I have no idea what the ABV is on this. Hold on, here comes the train. Okay, I'm back. I don't hate trains. I just don't like living a living a block from them. So um, this is uh, according to the well off the bottle. This small batch brew is a second in our limited edition Brewers Pride Craft Beer series. Medium bodied dark brown lager brewed with Weirman rye malt and chocolate rye from Germany, caramel malt and three hot varieties. Result is a rich roasted dry finish with a touch of sweetness and hops. It will be available in our family reunion variety package. Available in late December through April. So it's February, so just making it here to town. I have no idea what the, there's not even a mention of it on the website. Um, nothing, on the, nothing on the bottle anywhere. I have no idea what the ABV is on this. So it's a lager, can't be real big. Um, I do remember the uh, Shiner caps are twist off, so don't need my wasn't much of a pop on that one either. Don't need my pop. Don't need my opener. We got a. That's a dark, very dark brown amber notes. Mostly, uh, mostly clear, mostly translucent. Um, I see some fairly large size bubbles. Not a lot moving up. It's a. I'd say it's a coppery brown. Uh, got a maybe a half a finger. Maybe had a finger of a uh, slightly off-white head when I first poured it. Let me give it a nose and see what we have. Okay, I'm getting caramel. Definitely some toffee. A little bit of chocolate. There's kind of a spicy, earthy hop aroma there. Slight biscuit, but uh, mostly it's it's malts, caramel sweetness, and uh, and the malts. Um, like I said, they they use a chocolate rye, which is uh, interesting from from Germany. I've never never heard of that one. So let me uh, give it a taste and see what we have here. I have no idea what to expect from this. Okay, there's a nice uh, balance of um, got sweet up front. Maybe a little bit of that rye gives a little uh, little spiciness to it. Yeah, you get the chocolate and the caramel sweetness right up front, and then that uh, kind of spicy rye kicks in in the middle. Not a lot going on with this. Not super. Uh, not super complex at all. It's a little bit of bitterness. Fairly clean and crisp on the finish. Maybe whatever hops they use, but there's not a lot here. It's a medium-bodied uh, beer. Got a moderate amount of car carbonation, so. Uh, let me sit and let this warm up a bit and see if anything changes. Back in a few with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been 20 minutes, so I haven't uh, had to take the dog out. So haven't been really drinking on this much, but uh, it's warmed up quite a bit. Um, get the nose. Still not a lot there. A little caramel, toffee, chocolate. At just just about the same as it was before not a lot it's not really uh, not really a strong aroma 
smells pleasant, but uh, nothing, nothing outstanding. Give it a taste and see if anything has changed since it's warmed up. Not a lot has changed there either. You still get your chocolate and caramel up front. You get your little rye spiciness. I don't know how much rye they rye malt they used. Um, Wireman rye malt. Never heard of that one. I'm sure you homebrewers know what it is, but I'm not to tell you the truth. I'm not impressed for a. Brewer's Pride. This is number two. Apparently they did a, their version of an alt beer for the number one. That's not in that six pack. Um, limited edition. I'm not going to pick it up again. I, I certainly won't pick up another six pack for this. That's for sure. And apparently it's only going to be available in the uh, the family pride or family reunion uh, six pack. So um, I'm going to give this a. It's a decent drinkable beer, not an outstanding, not certainly not something that, uh, at least from the brewers I, I respect, um, would put out as a brewer's pride. But so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. It's an average, average beer. Well, I'll be generous. I'll give it a five point five, slightly above average. It's decent drinkable. Certainly not nothing. Nothing I would uh, seek out again. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what the ABV is on this. I'm sure it's fairly low. I'm not getting any any hint of uh, hint of alcohol anywhere. Not on the taste. Not on the not on the back of the throat. Not in the chest. Nothing. So I'm sure it's fairly low. I'm sure it's around five percent or barely above five percent. If that's what it, even even that far. So. Um, 5.5 out of 10 for the Shiner Rise and Shine Rye Lager. Um, I want to try something different. It's different, but um, it's not all that good. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.